we're going to start removing the windshield. That's really, except for a couple little things, basically all we have left on the car still. Um, I believe what we do, I'm looking at other videos, we've got to remove this chrome trim. We should just pop these off in the corners. Uh, there's one right down here. And then I believe the rest of this comes right out. And then what we want to do is slice the rubber around here and then the windshield should pop out. But we'll get started removing this chrome trim. And I don't know if I'm gonna put this back or paint this stuff black or something. I'm not a big fan of chrome accents, but for now I don't want to ruin this stuff, so I'm gonna use an interior trim tool remover. Encapsulates the edge of the window windshield and then it's all probably glued down. The rubber itself is probably glued down to the body of the car. Um, so I think as long as we trim right here, right along that line where that chrome piece was, um, and then peel that off, I believe the windshield will pop right out. in the air to here just cut the rubber right there. Which I kind of figured was going to be the case because we got some scale in here. I'm 
I'm gonna try gently pushing from the inside and without hopefully without cracking it. I believe it should pop out. Alright, this side's kind of loose. We'll just gently work around. Yep, it's popping loose. side of the windshield is already popped loose up to midpoint ish I'm gonna try and work my trim tool underneath there gently uh, to break this free on this corner Looks like we got it free. Now, make sure when you, before you actually take the glass out that you're ready for your place to uh, set it down. You don't want to have this sitting up here trying to hold it and then trying to clear a space at the same time. And if you have another person, it probably would be a good idea to have them help too, but I'm working solo today. So we're gonna pop this out and go set it down at the spot I've already prepared. I'm just going to pop the, seal, the rest of the seal out. I imagine it's not glued on real great at this point after however long it's been on there. Um, and we can do our inspect, rust inspection. Okay, I'm just under it out. Ooh, that does not look good. So I know we had some rust right here. Honestly, wow. It's just pretty scaly surface rust. That can be cleaned up. This up here is worse looking than I thought it would be. I actually wrapped the headliner in before they put the windshield in. actually solid. I don't see, at least on this side, anywhere that water has rusted through. A little bit right there. Solid. It all sounds solid. I'm happy about 
that. I mean, it looks worse than I was anticipating. Clearly water has been getting in underneath this top part of the seal for a long time. That's why there's no rust on the roof here. However, I don't believe that we're gonna have to do anything besides just clean it up and put some paint on it. Very happy about that. So all in all, if you have to take your windshield out, if you're doing a, a restoration project on a Datsun, you know, 280Z, or any, probably any of these old Datsuns are the same, um, it's really not that bad. I was way more nervous about taking that out than I needed to be. Um, as long as you're patient and don't try and flex that windshield too much when you're pushing it out, um, and you cut all the rubber off, it'll come out. Um, so don't, don't be too scared about it.